Hello, interpreters. This is Marty. Today, I'm going to show you how I set up my Zoom interpreting meetings with SimoNote on the same Windows device. If you're using a Mac or MacBook, please refer to this video on the upper right hand corner for the installation tutorial for Mac OS and then the setup video immediately afterwards. If you missed the links, don't worry, I've included them in the description beneath this video. We are going to walk through the whole process of downloading, installing, and setting up SamoNote side-by-side -side with a Zoom meeting. Let's get started. So as you see here down below, I have the SamoNote webpage open and the webpage is www.simo.io slash en slash note.html. The link will also be in the description beneath this video. And once you navigate to the webpage, you will see that the webpage automatically recognizes that you're on a Windows device. And you just go ahead and click this button for download. And the download will start and usually takes just a few seconds to finish. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now with Simon Note downloaded, the way you install it, just simply click this button over here, and that will open a Windows protection prompt. And it's asking you for your confirmation to install this app. And the way you do it is to hit more info and click run anyway. And that should open the installation interface. There we go, make sure the folder is correct. And if that is so, click install. This should also just take a few seconds. Getting there. Okay, and now SAML Note is installed on your Windows device. Now, I'm going to, usually if you click finish here, it'll automatically open SAML Note, but I'm not gonna do that, just so I can simulate how you would normally open it once you have installed it and before a meeting. So I'm gonna uncheck the run SAML Note. Don't worry, you don't have to do this. I'm gonna click finish minimize this and you should see Simon note shortcut on your desktop and let's say now it is time to participate or join a, a meeting and I already have a zoom invite for myself on another device so I'm going to click that and enter the zoom meeting I have arranged for myself okay as that is launching meeting and since this is just for demonstration purposes I'm going to join without video and usually when you first join a meeting and somebody is sharing their screen zoom will automatically go into full screen mode and since I like to have Simon note right next to zoom side by side so that I can see the meeting as well as the Simon note dictation I like to put zoom into window mode and not full screen mode. And the way you do that is you can move up here to the view options button, click it. It's going to have a drop down menu and there you can select exit full screen. And that way I can move the zoom window anywhere I want on the desktop and I can position Simon note either right next to zoom or below it. And with that open, we can turn on Simo Note. Okay, and as you can see, Simo Note is booting up. And this is the step-by-step -step setup guide when you open Simo Note for the first time or any other time after you change the engine. So we're just going to step through it. It's going to help you make the correct setup. We're going to click yes. 
and then it's going to ask you which audio source do you want to source your sound from and obviously there is the computer audio and microphone and usually if you are running the virtual meeting and someone note in the same computer you just go ahead and select computer audio but if you decide to take your computer on site and you would like to make a physical connection say for example with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or a USB connector you can also source the sound from another device and this that's when you want to select microphone but for this particular case we're gonna select computer audio and we're all set we're gonna get started I'm going to reposition zoom a little bit so we can see things clearly okay this is the simul note interface when you enter it for the first time and as you can see from the lower left hand corner we have the engine selector and I have Microsoft ASR selected and personally I believe this is the most robust for high stake client meetings since we have already selected computer audio this is automatically selected and my language pair and this could be changed in the settings and finally there's a start recognize button and on top of here we have settings we have import your glossary which is a very popular feature as well as force replace both of these will go over in another video and lastly there's your account here and you can see there's me and the credits I have remaining and how it corresponds to the different recognition times across different engines and back we are ready to start Let's have Simon Note dictate this mock meeting that we have planned for us. And let's do a final check before we start the mock meeting. From left to right, I have Microsoft ASR selected, check. And then computer audio, which should be automatically selected. When I select sourcing sound from computer audio, my language pair is correct. Since the speech is in English, then I have English selected. And otherwise, I can select Chinese or Japanese, French, German, any second or target language that you have selected for this meeting. And I'm going to enable Simon Note to have it start working. And I'm going to turn on the mock meeting on the other side. Above pre industrial levels. And it is likely that global average surface temperature will cross 1.5 Celsius in less than 10 years. Indeed, the World Meteorological Organization and we can see that have a likely as not chance of Simon crossing Note 1.5 is at least temporarily everything that is said in, in the next this meeting. Four years. And it's providing and crossing number this 1.5 highlighting. degree threshold is very significant because it is linked to a number of feedbacks and tipping points in the climate system. The most sensitive of these is what is occurring in the and Arctic. I can have machine translate. Indeed, because of various feedback here, mechanisms in the Arctic, double -click most it. notably the ice albedo feedback, where the melting of snow and, and fact, ice I can add reduces the amount of sunlight reflected and absorbs more incoming here. solar radiation. The Arctic For is example, already warming up four that, times faster that, than the global average. You can average see that rate. all terms We've that already are related lost to this. Half of the summer we'll sea have ice highlighting cover. as well and as we their are, machine uh, translation on the other side. That we are but if I have this term the in my glossary here, which we will demonstrate in a different video, the then the term within the, the parentheses will be the terms that you enter. We're already seeing slowing okay, of I'm that over this. circulation in the Atlantic. And if we and that is it. So make sure to stop Simul Note so that it doesn't charge you credits just for another demonstration purpose to make sure that you know that the microphone is also picking up my voice I'm going to have Simon know continue to dictate with the video we continue to have loss of Arctic summer sea ice and I'm going to uh, we could go into audio that, settings reduction and reflection and, and you can see a that gigatons of CO2 warming equivalent with additional Zoom is recognizing and, my and increased voice here. Warming from additional loss of snow and ice cover. And additional feedbacks in the Arctic include methane okay. and CO2 release from permafrost, as well as other methane reserves such as high. Turn off Simul Note. And that is it. This is how we set up Simul Note alongside Zoom for our clients' meetings.
Thank you very much, everyone. It's always a pleasure to share with you what we have built here at Simo. If you have any questions regarding any free or paid product that we have, feel free to reach out to me directly.